A student of Ladoke Akintola University of Technology, Ogbomosho, has spent nearly two months in police custody for allegedly setting up a Twitter parody account of former President Goodluck Jonathan. Twitter rules allow for parody accounts on the condition that the operator of the account indicates this on his profile page. Now, on Twitter profile page, Olushala informed his 46,400 followers that the account was a parody one. His profile read in, read in part, and I quote, Brez's life, not uh, Jonathan Ebele, uh, good luck Ebene, Ebele Jonathan, rather. Through the handle, Olushala reportedly fired many witty comments, including some subtle jabs at Jonathan's wife, Patience. However, the student was said to have been arrested on May the 23rd of 2020. Now, human rights lawyer Tokpe Akinyode said the student was arrested after a complaint by the former president to the Inspector General of Police, Mohammed Adamu. Policemen were said to have obtained information of Olushala's call log record from a telecommunications service provider. The call history linked him to his uncle, a pastor in Ogbomosho, Oyo State, who was immediately placed under house arrest by the Special Anti-Robbery Squad operatives and was ordered to invite Olushala to his residence for onward arrest, which was done. Akinyode said Olushala was subsequently taken to Abuja. We are now joined by Shegun Awosonya, also known as Segalink. He is the president and founder at Social Intervention Advocacy Foundation, CF, and Michel Agatise, who is a legal practitioner. Good to have you, gentlemen. Good to have you, Segalink and Michel as well. Thank you very much for having me. All right. Uh, let's, let's begin by asking you, how do you assess this, uh, this situation. He set up a Twitter account, yeah, uh, but he also mentioned that it's a parody account. And according to the Twitter rule, it's okay if you mentioned that this is a parody account. Is he at fault? What, how do you see all of this? I think it's um, one of the crises that we are facing now with the gap between the super class, the 1% and the 99%, who are mostly misconstrued and misunderstood. The rules are clear. If social media has not been deemed as a tool of uh, a, as a as a tool against the state in Nigeria, there would be a proper understanding of how to engage the use of social media and how to understand what goes on there. The account actually was perceived as a fake account of the president, not as a parody account. Because if it were to be seen from the perspective of being a parody account, there's really no uh, cause for arresting anyone for this or keeping them, detaining them for this long without charging them to court. A parody account is more or less a fan or commentary account on Twitter where individuals can share different ideas about specific issues, person or company, if it's, if, it, if it's a corporate account. And the important thing is that one should provide a content that is interesting but does not violate the terms and condition of the website. Now, Twitter have not, has not flagged this particular account. So it wasn't that it was you know, doing something illegal or anything. Or probably the jokes or the, uh, uh, the satire that he was trying to communicate was also misconstrued to be insulting or to be libelous, mm. you know, but that is yet to be determined. And for the person to be kept for this long by DSS, I think it is um, like using a hammer to kill a fly right. because of uh, a misunderstanding, so to say. Okay. We also have uh, Michelle. Uh, Agatise, and he's a legal practitioner. Michel, uh, Michel, are you there? Yes, I am. Can you hear me? Good yes, morning. Yes, I, I can hear you. Thank you for joining us. We didn't establish contact with you. Thank you for being here this morning. I, I'm sure you're following the story of uh, the young man there. Now, as we, just to bring you up to speed, I, I'm sure you do know, a student of Ogbomosho University who is currently spent two months in prison for setting up this parody account or this fake account, although we are told that the Twitter rule allows for this. So which is it? Has the student done something illegal or not? I mean, from your legal uh, perspective, how do you make sense or judge this situation? Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Um, first and foremost, I would like to apologize for the earlier technical issues I had joining in. Um, now, we have to dimension this into three different buckets. Um, the first bucket has to do with the Twitter rules. The second bucket has to do with the criminal rules. Then the third bucket has to do with how long you can be kept in detention without being charged to court. 
Now, as it relates to the Twitter rules, I had the opportunity to look through the Twitter, um, online constitutional rules, ETC. And yes, they have an impersonation policy. They also have a uh, policy relating to parody accounts. And it's a very, 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 very bright line distinction between the um, impersonation rules as well as the parody account rules. And we have to understand that Twitter is an organization that is subject to the criminal rules of any land. And if you actually go and check a jurisdictional assessment of how things are dealt with in different countries. In the UK, the Crown Prosecution Service, which is their criminal, basically, prosecution service, um, already has set guidelines as to when parody accounts can be a criminal infraction. Mm -hmm. And that is when you're setting out libella statements, defamatory statements, and you're presenting yourself as being you know, that, um, 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 you know, um, significant individual.